Turning now to the shocking and sudden death of American journalist Grant Wall at the, at the World Cup just days after celebrating his 48th birthday. And Wall was one of the most respected writer, soccer writers in the country and he was in Qatar and then collapsed while covering the match between Argentina and the Netherlands. We do have Good Morning El Paso's Alberto Perez live in studio with us from reactions from what the public and his wife have to say. Sam, good morning. Well, the U.S. State Department is assisting now soccer writer Grand Walls' widow following his unexpected death in the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Officials with the U.S. Embassy in Qatar have been working with Walls' widow, Celine Grounder, to make sure she gets the support she needs. A witness said that the 49-year-old wall collapsed in the press area while covering Friday's World Cup quarterfinal between Argentina and the Netherlands. Wall had complained of respiratory symptoms earlier in the week, but the exact circumstances of his death remain unclear. A bouquet of white flowers and a framed picture of wall were displayed in the press box at the World Cup, and the pictures were shared on Twitter by FIFA. Grant Walls' wife, Celine Grounder, posted a statement on Twitter and wrote, quote, I am so thankful for the support of my husband, Grant Walls' soccer family, and of so many friends who have reached out tonight. I'm in complete shock, end quote. Hal Habib, longtime friend of Walls, talks about how important he was in the soccer world. He had access to anybody and everybody in the sport, from David Beckham all the way to the FIFA president and you could go on and on. As a matter of fact, there was a point when Grant uh, announced his campaign to become FIFA president. And I remember, uh, maybe it was on Twitter or email, I, I wholeheartedly endorsed it. And maybe it was half joking, but in my heart, I knew that Grant would have been the best man for the job. Let's get real. And last month, Wall posted on Twitter that he was denied entrance to a stadium at the World Cup because he wore a rainbow t-shirt. Right now, there does not seem to be any connection between that incident and his untimely death. Back to you.